gonna talk about bro then why you keep talking about him you keep saying leave him alone <laughs> so oh jesus <laughs> her headphones and her iphone and the ring light y'all see that Oh, she ready. A bicycle for Christmas. Mom, if you're watching this, that flat iron that I just used in your bathroom, put that in my stocking. Thank you. <laughs> Ashley here and welcome or welcome back to another video I could not just not do uh, what I got my daughter for Christmas haul so she will be seven next week and yeah if you want to see what I got my daughter for Christmas just keep watching let's get into the video all right y'all so this time around i am not at home i am at my mom's house because we are doing christmas here so i will be having my daughter this year for christmas whereas last year you know she was with her dad and so i had to <laughs> order stuff and send it to my mom's house so i'm here in south carolina where it's a tsunami outside but guess who driving back tonight me i did leave my ring light at home i apologize for the lighting hopefully it's okay and you can see everything yeah y'all so without further ado let's go ahead and jump off with the video i shopped at three places i did amazon target and walmart and verizon <laughs> but mainly just those three places where i shopped at everything will be linked down below so i'm just gonna reach for stuff and um whatever i grab that's gonna be what we present today okay so let's start here i had to of course get her new barbie dolls because she likes barbie dolls she's one of those girly girls who play with the barbie dolls so i got her some of those so we can run through those really quickly so i got her this one with the afro i thought was so cute all right she has another one a life in the city homegirl got her workout outfit and her headphones and her iphone and the ring light y'all see that oh she ready i got this one because of the jumpsuit i thought was so cute but she has her little bag and her sunglasses and all that all that but here's her other one she has this one has a little dog or a big dog and three little puppies. Again, everything will be linked down below. Check the description box, please. I also had to get her one of these, y'all know, the Little Mermaid. We went and watched it and I was like, how did I not buy a doll? And she liked the movie. So this one actually sings when you press the button. No, I'm not about to press the button because I don't know how long it's going to sing and we gotta keep it rolling i am gonna be doing stocking stuffers this year because i have all of the dolls i kind of just got these little five dollar and they were marked down at target so when you go to target you will see all the marked down stickers in red now's the time now's the time we got two weeks one week a week however much whenever i post this go ahead to target because they have the little cute barbie doll clothes and little knickknacks for you to change out your barbie doll in these i am going to be putting in her stocking this year so we are going to be having stocking stuffers mom if you're watching this that flat iron that i just used in your bathroom put that in my stocking thank you <laughs> um two more stocking stuffers for her of course are the lols I feel like these are like a normal thing when you have a girl like I don't know they still love these lol so I have these as well to put into her stocking my daughter likes uh, doing hair but she's been doing like her Barbie dolls hair and she's been getting me to braid the hair and everything like that and so this is her first uh, Barbie doll or first what do you call these styling heads okay so i brought her two styling heads because she's been getting into you know doing the barbie dolls hair and all that good stuff so she has one and i wanted to get her one with the straight hair and 
had to get her one with her texture hair. Her hair is curly, so I wanted to get her a curly one. And of course, if you uh, are new here, she still loves the rainbows, y'all. I don't know when this is going to end. I don't know, but she's still into the rainbows, okay? So I got her one with the curly hair. It has headbands and clips and the barrettes, and it has the rainbow hair across the top. So I know that she's going to love this one. It looks so nice. So I know she's gonna like that. So I seen this on Amazon and I felt like it would be nice and cute. This one in particular is one that like repeats after you and it sings songs and you know all the cutesy stuff. This uh, Miko here. Now Miko is different from this one. So she has two robots. This one, like I said, is the cutesy sing with me. This one is more so of the intelligent robot. So it's supposed to help you with like your homework so this is supposed to be the new you know everybody is ai ai this is supposed to be like an ai robot yeah so this one is more of an intellectual one you know it's not just you know a little cute robot it has a good function for learning skills for the kids so miko <laughs> hopefully it's good yeah Let's move on. My daughter has tons of stuffed animals. She likes sleeping with her animals and every time I come in her room, they are on the floor and I be wanting to throw them into La Trash Oh, <gasps> My battery's going dead. Should I change it now or keep talking till it go dead? I'm gonna keep talking. Okay, so, <laughs> or really this is for me, but it's for her. She needed some type of organization for her stuffies, so she call it. This is one of those stuffy organizations that you hang on the back of your door. So I'm gonna put it like on the, on the inside of her closet door so she can just open it up from there and grab whatever the stuffy she wants and you know, and put it back. Please put it back where it goes. That's what I brought this for. She's been talking about getting her nails done, but what she don't realize is that the last time I took her to go get her nail, mind you, it's not no acrylic or anything, so they just did a cute little design on her nail. It did not last long. I done spent my money for you to get your nails, your hands, a pedicure, manicure, all the good stuff for your birthday, and was that for her birthday? I don't even remember but I went and got it done you know so she can experience it and it didn't last long like she was just picking it off especially the designs she was just picking it off and I'm like girl do you even like this so before I take you back and get in the habit of taking you to get your nails done we just gonna be doing some nails at home raise your hand if you have never done your nails exactly put your put your hand down everybody has done their nails at home shoot i might try to do my nails at home way to press on girlies at because i'm about to get me some but i say all that to say i did get her a nail art kit that looks like this i thought this was so cute we will enjoy doing this together because i'm not about to be paying for you to get your nails done and you don't even treat it right oh Okay, <laughs> I'll do your nails at home, don't worry. I will have a whole spa day at home, okay? So this is one that I got. So my next thing, she loves bubbles, so I wanted to get her a bubble wand. It is a princess bubble wand because she likes bubbles, so I got her a princess bubble wand. What kind of parent would I be if I didn't get something that was going to aggravate me to death? You know how you a parent and you buy stuff that you know gonna get on your nerves later but it's for the kids. Anytime I purchase the kinetic sand or the slime, I promise you I ain't purchasing it for me. I hate this stuff, but she enjoys it. And I mean, you can clean, she, she can, can clean it up after she is done. <laughs> so I did get her some kinetic sand it came with a little waffle maker and the ice cream cone. So this is supposed to be the little ice cream treats uh, kinetic sand. And scents. So it has uh, different scents as well. Vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. <laughs> I went into Target like literally 20 minutes before I started recording. And I seen that they had a cotton candy maker. Ah! 
<laughs> Y'all know, or if you don't know, like every year I try to get her something that is nostalgic to me. Last year I got her the Easy Bake Oven, which yes, she did use the Easy Bake Oven. You know the little thing that goes around with the little fish and you had to capture with the little fish? That's from my childhood, so I got her one of those as well. So this year we got the cotton candy maker because who did not have a cotton candy maker when you was younger? I mean, everybody. Everybody has had a cotton candy, well, I'm not gonna say everybody, but a lot of people have had a cotton candy maker. I remember getting a cotton candy maker, you use regular sugar, which is good, and they wanna make sure that you know that the sugar is not included. So, <laughs> I, do, I, I need to buy some sugar. Okay, anyway, so, <laughs> yes, y'all, I got this cotton candy maker. I thought it was real cute, and she will definitely enjoy this. So, yeah, nostalgic. Okay. <laughs> I went ahead and got her one of these stunt cars as well. She had a car last year and she was trying to play with it and it just, I don't even know what happened. Like it, it wasn't working right. So hopefully this one does work right. She was pretty let down. So I went ahead and got her another one of these. So yeah. This is the JoJo CY Dream Car. Okay, it does not come with JoJo CY. I was thinking about getting her a little doll but I couldn't find one in the store and I'm not ordering anything yet. I'm not buying nothing else. So she better take one of them dolls that I already bought and put them up in this car. Cause uh, uh that, baby, I'm done. <laughs> I ain't buying nothing else. So I got her the JoJo CY car. The next thing that I got was this Gabby's doll house. This is a smaller doll house. I liked it because it had a slide and yes, she will put water in this, but she likes Gabby and I wanted to, you know, get her something of Gabby related that I know that she's going to enjoy playing with. She'll probably open this one up around like April. I project it. I project that she'll be ready to try to open this up around April. <laughs> My daughter is definitely a nightlight type of girl. She has a fish tank in her room and then she has another little nightlight. She just likes a little light in her room. So I finally got her one of the star lamps. Yeah, this is an open up immediately <laughs> type of gift. She's definitely gonna open this one up immediately or as soon as we get home. So yeah, I got her a little nightlight, cutie. Yes, I got her the Encanto characters. <sighs> if I have to hear the song, we don't talk about Bruno anymore. <laughs> I am going to snap because she just plays it over and over and over again and just be in there sing. we don't talk about Bruno. Then why you keep talking about him? You keep saying, leave him alone. <laughs> This is the other makeup set that I was telling you about. But it looks like this. It comes in like a little unicorn um, case. All the little beauty blender. It has a different little eyeshadow, little makeup thing. I think this is, I don't know what this is. <laughs> but yeah, the little eyeshadowy stuff. So it has all the different little things for makeup that I felt like she couldn't have fun playing in. Not wearing the school, baby. Not wearing the school. But she, when you get home from school, if you wanted to play with it, you definitely can. Um, it has little chapsticks. And it, it's, it's actual, you know, little kid makeup, okay? It's a little kid makeup. So, yeah. And it even have the little brushes for her. Hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah, so it even has little brushes. And I just thought it was so cute. And I thought that she would enjoy. It has so much stuff in here, guys. Like, oh my goodness. It has so much like shimmery uh, lip gloss. It has, I'm surprised that it has this beauty blender in there. But it has a lot of cool stuff in here that she can open up and put it all in there and she can enjoy playing with it, you know, at her leisure. So I feel like this one is going to be another one that's gonna get opened up right away. But yeah, so, and it comes in a nice little bag like that. I just thought it was so cute and she'll enjoy playing a dress up and doing her makeup. So yeah, that's another one. I got her two, um, iPad mini cases. So my daughter has an iPad mini. 
uh, and so I did end up getting her two cases. This one came, these came from Amazon by the way. This one actually came with a glass protector and this is the other one, just like a little butterfly. I did end up getting her a brand new iPad mini. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing, as I just said, she has one already, okay? But me and even her father, we be forgetting to pack it. Um, like, so say for instance, she's going to her dad, I be forgetting to put it in my purse to either bring it with me to the school so I can have it in my purse, or I remember to put it in my purse, but I don't remember to meet with her at the end of the day to then give it to her for when she goes to stay at her dad's house. So, and I, it, like I leave work sometimes on my break, on my lunch break to go and get her iPad so that she can have it there because that is how we communicate with her. Um, so we FaceTime her using her iPad, right? So if I wanted to call her and I got her iPad, <laughs> that's a problem. Or if her dad wanted to reach her, but you got her iPad. So, I mean, yes, we can call each other phone, but who want to do that? I don't want to do that. So she's in first grade. I don't trust her yet <laughs> to have her iPad at school and to you know do the right things and to leave it out during dismissal and somebody might come and take it you know what I'm saying it's it's bigger so it's not like a cell phone for you to really hide up in her book bag and she has a clear book bag so for me it's like yeah no <laughs> no I would rather you just leave it at home and let that be that um, so with that being said, this one can stay at my place, still will have the same functions and Lord, please, I hope that she can still log into her Roblox. <laughs> well, she still should be able to log into the Roblox. I don't know. I hope that she can still log into her. I do think she can log into the Roblox. That's like the main thing on her iPad that she's going to really want is that same Roblox account. Cause child, I, anyway, this one is the sixth generation and I do believe that's the same one her daddy bought, but the sixth generation uh, comes with the Wi-Fi and cellular. I just added her to my plan. So I think I just paid like $50 that day that I ordered it. And um, my bill only went up like 20 something dollars or $30 after I added her line to my account as well as paying for the device over time. So it's not, I mean, overall it's like 600 and something dollars uh, for the device but it's it's not it's not too bad to be paying for it over time and for my bill to just go up like thirty dollars that is worth it to me again this is the ipad mini sixth generation i got it in purple and this is the 256 gigabyte uh mini so yes i went ahead and got her one of these as well as two of the uh, holders or the cases as well as two of, of the cases to go with her new iPad mini so yes <laughs> we got a new iPad that we can leave at home and I won't have to worry about transferring it to and from yeah so all right so again slime she does have slime this is the ice cream butter slime combo kit that looks like that. She loves slime. I just thought that this would be something that she will enjoy doing as well. All right, so this next thing I got is like a science experiment kit, okay? It is the Kids Science Lab in a Box. It has 20 plus experiments. So this is something that I wanted to, you know, get so that we can do some science things, some learning involved things together, especially science, uh, cause I feel like that is way funner for the kids. And so when I seen this kid, I was like, oh my gosh, it is freaking perfect. So I went ahead and got this. So I'm interested to see, can you see? Yeah, I'm interested to see, you know, what all is in here and what all we can do. So, yeah, I thought this was really nice as well. 
and I got her another DreamWorks Gabby's Dollhouse. This one is like a ship one. So it looks like this. It does come with the Gabby doll. Okay, and it comes with a little ship and then you can put water at the top and all that. So, oh, Jesus. <laughs> so I thought this one was really cute for her as well. So yeah, we down to the last little bit y'all. <laughs> okay, got this from Target. It's a bunch of different like food things. They have pasta, they have ice cream, they have jelly, they have bread. Like it has a bunch of little different food uh, that she can, you know, play with her dolls with in particular. And it comes in like a case that you can close it. So this is what it looks like. It has all the different foods in there. Oh, it has sprinkles, pancakes, I mean, you name it. It has it, whipped cream, like, oh, my sherbet. Like, it has all the different food items that she can use for her dolls. You know how kids like to play with food or they like to pretend play with food and making different, you know, desserts and stuff like that. Like I brought her that ice cream truck that she still plays with actually. I brought her the ice cream truck last year and she was playing with the different food and all that stuff and she'll be coming to bring me some and all that stuff. So she loves doing stuff like that, which I think is great. So, and this is what the bag looks like. So you can kind of see some ideas of what can be made with it. And it has cookies and all of that. And it comes with the forks and the spoons. And like I said, you're able to close it up. I don't know if you can see that there. You're able to close it up into a case so you can hold all the food together. That is a very smart invention, whoever did this. Good job, good job. Now, if she can actually keep it all in this case, we'll see but yes this was a last minute find at target so i just got this one today so i really like this one she had i, I believe her grandmother actually bought her a um dollhouse before i don't know but i didn't want to get her one that you know they have the gigantic ones i wanted to get her one that was a manageable this one that i actually got her went on sale so it was a hundred something dollars i end up snagging this for like six bucks and I thought it was really good of a snag so I got her this doll house oh let me turn let me turn it around so that you can actually see it this way so I went ahead and got her this doll house and this is probably gonna be one that she opens up right away and like I said I got it on set it was on sale okay got it on sale and there is 25 plus accessories which is bomb and there are six rooms so yeah again it is linked down below i do not know if they still have the sale going on i don't know if they still have the sale going on but a hundred and something to sixty dollars you can't beat it I thought it was a decent, very decent deal. Especially being that I did not want liquor shopping on Black Friday. Nothing. I don't know what I was doing. In fact, I think she was with me Black Friday. I don't even know. I don't even know what happened, but I did no shopping. Nothing. I bought nothing Black Friday. I bought nothing Cyber Monday. I did not take advantage of none of the deals. None of the deals. <laughs> I just, it slipped me. I didn't even get none of my candles, y'all. <laughs> you know, last year I did a whole candle haul from um, Bath and Body Works. I didn't even get any of my candles. I was, I have not, this year, well, I ain't gonna say this year, but uh, this time, like this holiday time, like I don't know what has been going on. But we still pull through. But still, like, I missed the good, good sales. But to say that I missed the sales and I still got this one at a good sale discount. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so we almost done. We got about one more thing left, okay? So, 
we have like a couple more left so scratch that uh but the next thing i got and i'm not going to open this or can i open it no i'm not going to open it um i'm going to put it across the screen i just got her some earrings they are unicorn earrings and they have a's across them because her name is aubrey so i just got them you know for her and she likes the unicorns and she needed some more earrings the next thing i need to really get her is like an earring organizer you know the one that stands up and you can just put the different studs in there that is something that i'm going to have to get her as well so i'll get that later on down the line so that she can keep her earrings organized but um yes yeah, so i got her these as well from the zon the last thing that i got her is a bicycle Okay, so again, the back and forth, y'all. If you are a co-parenter, <laughs> if you be co-parenting, you cannot tell me the back and forth of the of the accessories, of the toys, of the stuff. Like that can be such a hassle. It really can be such a hassle. Child, I don't even know if he still got the bicycle. The bicycle is probably too small now, and so uh, the bottom line is. <laughs> the bottom line so you just have to be you know understanding and know what's gonna go and what's gonna stay so that ipad mini that's the one that stays at mommy house and then the one that your daddy had got you that stays at his house and this bike this bike is gonna stay at my house and the one that your daddy got over at his house hopefully you can fit it <laughs> now if there's something she's one million percent adamant like i want to take this to my daddy house i've been playing with this toy and this is my favorite toy out of all the toys and i just want to have it at my daddy house now if she's like that and she's like please please you know she's really adamant about taking the toys to her dad house and of course i'm like go ahead and take the toy or whatever like that but on the flip side if she's bringing toys from his house to my, baby, no, we have enough toys here. Please keep this stuff at your house. Please keep this stuff at your house. Please. She has enough toys here. Don't be trying to pack out her a bag of toys and her bringing it to my house. No. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it. I did get her this bicycle that looks like this so sticky cute has the basket i did get her one with the training wheels because baby she ain't been on no bicycle for real do you know how to ride and i'm gonna say we're gonna be starting over from the very very beginning okay so i got her the training wheels but this bicycle also comes with a kickstand of course it has the adjustable seat that's one thing that she's gonna have to you know get on it and see we have to see if we were going to adjust it i went ahead and set this up last night it pretty much came together all i had to do was uh put the seat on i had to put the i just said it training wheels on and i had to put the handlebars in it also comes with a bell and it comes with a basket as well the brakes are at the top as well which that's one thing I actually wanted to get, a bike that have the brakes at top. I, um, I don't think that her last bicycle had that, but I really wanted to get her one with the uh, brake at the top. So, yes, this is what it looks like. Uh, it has bowls on it and little flowers up there and a bee up there. So, it's really, really cute. Again, it is the Baby Joy and it is linked down below. I did get this from Amazon. So I feel like she's really going to love this. And when it's not too cold. Because right now, <laughs> it's cold outside. So when it's not too cold and we start going on our walks and stuff again she will have the option to ride her bicycle as well um so we are going to be doing that so yes a bicycle for christmas as a parent i feel you know our jobs a lot of parents want to give their kids you know the best they want to do more for their kids than they receive they want to have better for their kids than they receive so for me uh, i can overdo it <laughs> sometimes i can definitely overdo it sometimes and sometimes i have to reel myself back in um 
but I am very happy and very blessed and thankful that I am able to do things like this for her. Uh, Cause like I said, I'm not buying toys throughout the year. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not buying toys throughout the year. So like I said, people do things differently. This is how I do things. I do things. This is how I do things here on my end. So please be nice in the comments. <laughs> If you're going to say so, just <laughs> remember that it's my money and it's, I'm not spending your money. So, please be nice in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> I think we did pretty good this year on the gifts. And I'm actually early uh, in buying all of her gifts. But, yeah, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. That you got some ideas of any last minute presents that you're trying to get for your kids. Love on your kids. It's the most important thing outside of the gifts. Love on your kids all year long. The gifts don't really matter. But I just got them because <laughs> I was going to get them. And that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, y'all.